Oh, sorry, guys, didn't see you there. Um, anyway, uh, let's go over and see um, my good friend and drifting guru, Bagsy, and he can give us some advice on what to do with a new project car. Hi, guys, I'm here with Bagsy, pro drifter. So I'm here with Bagsy, pro drifter, and I'm gonna ask his opinion on how to turn this creation into a pro spec drift monster. Finger. I definitely think you need a big massive wing for the rear of the car to help with downfalls for all that high speed drifting you're gonna be doing. And then I would get a hydraulic handbrake, which is gonna help you brake traction. So guys, I listened to Bagsy and I got myself this top quality spoiler. Didn't bother with the uh, hydro, because I'm all about the grip life. Let's go and check out the car. Hi guys, we're back to reveal what we've been up to on the Corolla. But first, let me introduce you to our new range of show curtains. I know what you're thinking, it's the side of a gazebo. And you're right. It's not orange. <laughs> So in all seriousness, we have actually been quite busy with the car. As you can see, it now sports a full N2 spec arch kit. And when I say we've been busy, I haven't. All I did was cut off essential bits that had to be repaired. As you can see, we dropped it also at Fleet Livery Services to get it fully wrapped. Um, anything to stop the abusive orange. Um, and I believe this is an old Toyota race livery but I'm probably wrong, so don't worry about it. Um, fortunately, I had these wheels left over from the Z build, and they fit just about. They will be replaced with ones that fit properly, but for the moment, they'll do. One of the things we pride ourselves on at Players is our forethought and planning. And when specking this kit, we went for the full race kit, which obviously usually requires a uh, fuel cell. But that's not a problem down here. We're artists, so what do we do? cut a massive hole in it. So we've also had this wing down here for about five years. This was left over from one of Bags's crashed race cars. So I believe there's quite a few of these dotted around the country. Um, we needed something stupid enough to put it on and this just fitted the bill perfectly. Um, it, Cause it was a crashed, it didn't actually have these amazing struts on it. So what we did was buy a 27 pound spoiler off of eBay and use these struts. I do believe this is true motorsport spec now. Right, so at least now the car looks presentable. Um, and we can start to figure out where we're gonna go from here. Obviously, we're gonna work on, get some work done on the engine, go for a full management, ITBs, gradually work our way through the suspension. But thankfully, due to the guys down at Fleet, it now looks presentable. Right, so for those of you that are just so eager to see this car in the flesh. Come along to Players 13 on September the 15th in Essex. Form an orderly queue behind one of our show shrouds or show curtains, and we will be revealing this to the public for the first time. And join us next time when I'll be desperately trying not to kill myself at tracks. Click the like, subscribe, and OnlyFans page. So I'm here with Bagsy. <laughs> <laughs> Head off to uh, see my good friend and drifting guru, Bagsy, and he could give me some of ah. Hi guys, we're back. And we'd like to introduce you. Uh... Trying to put, put that voice on. Put the choke out. It's not trying to put that voice on, it's not easy. <laughs>